Good morning and welcome to Java with Jamie. Today I've got my iced coffee again. What I have for you today is a demo of how to repurpose your videos using a manual process that is free and a paid process using an app that I love called repurpose.io. So the other thing that I have for you is a first look for me at the app called Descript different ways that you can repurpose your videos from one app to another app. I personally like to record my videos in the TikTok app. I think the editing is just a lot easier for me to do than any of the other apps. So that's where I start is I film in TikTok and then repurpose from there. So you can do it the manual way. And let me bring up my screen by going to your account. Like here's my account and going to a video, like say this video and copy this link. And then you're going to go to this other site called save tick dot app. You can do this on your phone also. And you paste that URL that you just copied from your account and you download that video. And then you take that video and upload it to another app, like say Instagram, you click download right here. That's one way to do it. The other way that I like to do it is by using a paid app called repurpose.io. And what you do is you set up your connections. First, you have to set up your connection. So like, let me just simulate going through a new connection. So, so this whole screen would be blank when you first start and then you would click add new connection and then you would pick your connection. So you have to connect all of your things first. So like I would have to connect, connect my TikTok and then connect say my Instagram because you need to have a source and a destination. Now your connection can be both a source and a destination. You can see some of these have the slash, uh, some of them, they can only have a destination. Like you don't normally take Libsyn as like a podcast host. You wouldn't normally take from that and then repurpose somewhere else. So you would go through, set up your connections are pretty straightforward. And then you would make your workflow. So your workflows is the direction that you're telling it to go. So these are my workflows. So originally I decided to go from TikTok to wherever I'm going to start doing YouTube to wherever that's going to be my new way of doing it. But for right now I do right here at the bottom, I've got TikTok to Instagram, TikTok to YouTube. And what I like about this app is that so intelligent. If I have a video that is under 60 seconds, it's going to put that video as a YouTube short. If it's over 60 seconds, then it's going to put it as just a regular YouTube video, which it's, it's, so awesome. I can also copy all of my videos to Google Docs. So they're going there for storage if I want to do something with them a year from now. And, and it strips all of the watermark. Both of these methods that I'm mentioning strips the watermark of TikTok from your video. So you won't have any of that on there. So you can set your things up to be manual or auto posting. So like these three right here. So TikTok to Facebook, TikTok to Google Drive, and TikTok to YouTube are auto posting, meaning anytime I post a TikTok, it will automatically repurpose my video over to the other platform. Now I have settings in here, like I strip out the, the hashtags from this source. So the hashtags from TikTok are stripped out and then a, other hashtags are put in. So let me look on the Facebook, but at Facebook, I don't have any hashtags. I haven't figured out hashtags there, but I also can exclude certain videos from being put over there. So if I put this one just for TikTok, it's, it's going to exclude that and it won't even go. Um, so there's just, just some really cool things there. And then there's manual publishing that I like to do. So like, for example, Instagram, I like to do manual publishing because I like to put a real cover on it. So for that one, I would have to go over here every, every day or every few days and schedule that content. And so like, say, for example, this one, I would click publish and then I would upload my real cover. So I've got, I don't think I have any right now. I've got, I've got to go make them, but I would upload a real cover and that would be on top of the real one you're looking at my feed. And then I would cl either click publish now or there or schedule. I could do it that way. The other cool thing that repurpose.io has is a calendar. And you can see, you know, green means that it was published. The red ones mean that there was an error. Sometimes they do error out and you can come in here and manually publish them. So say I wanted to do this one, I would click that guy and click republish. I'm deciding not to because it was like a reaction one. Um, a reply video, but yeah, you can just schedule out way, way out and you can see it visually where it's going. And I really, really love that app. So if you want to check this, this app out, they do have a free trial. You can click the link down in the description to get started on that. But I think this app is well worth the $29 a month because when you think about how many videos, like if you say, if you make three to five videos a day, do you really want to be going to your TikTok account, copying the the link, going to that other site, pasting it there, downloading it, and then, then going to Instagram and then going to 
YouTube and, and uploading all this stuff manually. I mean, it just takes so much time where I think the $29 a month as it's priced right now, I think that is well worth my time. I feel like that frees me up to do other things that I would rather be doing. So like I said, check it out. Link is in the description. I created an account with Descript using my Google account, which was nice. And it appears that I need to download something. So I'm going to download this and install, sign in. It's signing me in from my Google. Okay. So I didn't have to enter a credit card at all. So this is really nice. I'm going to, I guess, pick creator and team size, just me. I have an invite link. Okay, so I don't need to do this. Podcast, audio, screencast. Let's do this. Video, English. Okay. So here we go. Perhaps later. So I am going to start a new project. Like I said, never used this before. Hmm. New project. Media. Okay. Where, how do I upload it? Let's record media. Oh, okay, here we go. Search files, add files, download. Let's do maybe this five minute one. Let's try that one. Okay, files are being added. I guess I should watch the tutorial on how to do this because I don't know how to do it. Insert into script. Okay, here we go. Here's what I talked about. Okay, so. So obviously I want to take that out. So let's delete this and strike that out. For example, I might want to take this out and just delete. And then that takes that whole sentence out. So if I wanted to play this from here, it won't even go. And then there's manual publishing that I like. Okay. So then I might want to take out this and. Okay, delete, let's play that again. Won't even go. Then there's manual publishing. Maybe I, I don't like the word then. For example, maybe I take that out. I really like the, I mean, I need to figure out how to use this better, but. Won't even go. There's manual publishing that I like to do. So like, for example. Okay, how about if I take out, so like. <laughs> Won't even go. There's manual publishing that I like to do. For example, Instagram. I like that sounds really it. nice. That sounds really nice, right? Really, really cool app. I'm going to play around with this some more, but so far I like it. Hey, that's a wrap for this episode of Java with Jamie. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Also check out the links in the description of this video to try out the two products that I went over in this video, the Descript app and the repurpose.io app. All right. See ya. Have a great day.